How's it going, YouTube? This is Hurtbox Cards TV. Never gets any easier to say. It's such a long name, but I, I'm not creative enough to come up with anything else. So we are. I'm hit the tripod. This is going great already. So, like I said in the last video, I said there was going to be some boxes, and uh, we do got some boxes. Let me grab them. They're kind of big, and. Uh, there we go. We got Legendary Collection. Not one, but we got two brand new ones. They were just there at my Walmart. Uh, I decided to go out there randomly, check out what it is, what, what they had. Uh, they didn't have like an aisle. They just said, oh, it's over by Register 1, and it was this small little thing tucked away in a corner. Some stolen Pokemon cards opened up packs. I don't know how they did that with the register right there. But... You know, kids, they'll find a way to do it. Am I right? They had two of these lying right there, and look at how freaking pretty that is. I wanted to say the F word, but... This is supposed to be a, uh... This is supposed to be a wholesome... channel... of unboxing children's card games. And, uh, yeah. We got two of these, and I am going to... go with the one on the bottom. Of course, we got our Amazon PHC certified box opener tool. I don't know if you can actually get these disposable film cutters, but uh, there you go. There's the barcode. There's the SKU, SKU or whatever. And uh, we're going to just go right in and see how easy that is. Just, just I see some people that just kind of like rip it, and then there's other people who will like. They take a knife and they start to push in. It takes forever just to dig into one of these things. And I'm telling you, those these things are awesome for opening up boxes. We use them at work all the time. We got to open up stuff, and uh, yeah, then we can just get them from vending machines. Take them home sometimes, and we uh, we have a hoot because we got a lot of free box cutters. So, man, just look how pretty that is. I love that, and it's. Man, I'm gonna keep these boxes. Just I'm keeping all the boxes and stuff that I own or that I buy for this just because I wanna just cause I wanna see how cool just cause of how cool they look. But uh of course we got our I didn't use any of these last video, but we got our Ultra Pro. Real focus. Ultra Pro in gold. And uh we're gonna take that off. And let's see. And what I know is that it comes with the God cards. I know that it comes... Oops. Don't want to throw that around. I know it comes with that, so... I don't know what these... What comes in it out, outside of that. I just... I've never opened one of these before. Again, I think this was after my time. <laughs> because if it was during my time, oh boy, I would have been buying tons of these. You have no idea how many I would have bought. But we have an Ultra Rare, Opalus the Tormentor, Slife in the Sky Dragon, Wind Dragon of Raw. And then we have an ultra rare blue eyes white dragon. I like that tablet artwork. I like them with the moon too. I like all the artworks, to be honest, of uh, blue eyes and dark magician, as well as red eyes black dragon. Except for red eyes, there's a couple of artworks I don't like. This one's all right, but I like the original the most. So we're gonna be getting a second set of these, which is cool. I don't mind. I never actually. Fun fact: I I never owned the god cards. At least I don't think I ever owned legitimate ones. They, they were always, uh, fake. <laughs> I can't, man, so many people bought fake god cards. I remember so many people had them. And, uh, as I remember, from what I know is that they come with these, uh, reprint versions or something of, uh, old, old card packs uh, of previous, like, Pharaoh's Servant. Yeah, I remember all these as a kid. Um... The reason I know that they're reprinted is because you should know is that they use the new Yu-Gi-Oh logo. The old one had that old kind of engraved look, kind of look like hieroglyphic hieroglyphics. So what do we get in there? We get Pharaoh's Servant. We get a Blue Eyes Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. We get a Dark Crisis and a Metal Raiders. And then we get an Invasion of Chaos and a Spell Ruler. Oh man, all these cool cool card packs that I wished my parents had bought more of as a kid but my folks never thought about oh man you hear that just 
My parents never were too into the fact that I liked Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, they supported and bought me Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but they never thought that these things would get so big as they did, even though this was the early 2000s. And uh, they were super big then. Movies and everything, that was crazy. Oh man, that's cool, we got Exodia, the uh, the Dark Exodia, I forget his name, Black Skull Dragon, Magician of Black Chaos, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes. Alright, that's cool. But, we're gonna put that off, we're gonna put that all back together, and we're just gonna move this bad boy off to the side. Actually, what does it say in the back? It just, oh yeah, it tells you the six packs that you get. You know, it's crazy. I see people reselling, um, the packs out of here. Like, uh, I see them reselling these for crazy high amounts. And I'm like, why? They're not first edition. I don't know if they even made first editions of these. And I don't really see a reason to, um, sell them for that high. So we're gonna go in order of, uh... Let's see, what am I gonna do? You know what? I'm gonna leave it as it is, because Legend of Blue Eyes and Pharaoh's Servant were the two that... I remember the most fondly, at least out of these. Well, actually, Invasion of Chaos. Invasion of Chaos as well. Those three. The other ones were like... Oh, man. Yeah, they're, they're Metal Raiders is also in there. I actually really liked all these. Uh, you know what? I cannot remember some of the pack names. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there, there's others. I got some boxes. I got some boxes coming in, some older packs. So... We're going to save these three for last, and we're going to take these, uh, what does it come with? It comes with six, right? Yeah. We're going to do those four last. We're going to do it from Spell, Ruler, Dark Crisis, and then the other ones. All right, so let's, uh, let's open these up. I actually see some eBay listings try to pass them off as, like, older, and it's like, no, they're not. If you're, if you, if you were a fan back then, they, they didn't do this shit. I know, I just swore. Christian channel, right? They didn't do this. They were those solid ones with a little gap in them. Ooh, Ryu Ran, first one. I remember this card. Umiruka, I remember that. Whiptail Crow, Magical Labyrinth, mm -hmm. Horn Horn of the Unicorn, Chain Energy, Molten Destruction, Jingen uh, Bakudan, and Final Destiny. Oh man, I, found... I remember this card. Draw a discard five hand cards from your hand and fuck it. just eliminate the field. Oh, man. All right, now we're on to Dark Crisis. And let's see what we get out of Dark Crisis. We got Contract with the Dark Master. Acrobat Monkey. I remember this guy. DD Trainer. Uh-huh. Dark Scorpion. Chick the Yellow. I remember this card. Ooh, what do we got here? We got a Metalizing Parasite and Lunatite. Never got this card out of this pack. A deal with the Dark Ruler. Oh, we got Dark Ruler Hades right there. Hades, Hades. Uh, I don't. I always called him Hades. Um, Final Countdown. Contract with Exodia. Never got this card either. You can only activate this card when you have Exodia, the Forbidden One, right? Uh, Exodia, the Forbidden One, right arm of the Forbidden One. Okay, so if you have all of them. And then, in your graveyard, special summon one Exodia Necros. Yeah, the dark Exodia is called Exodia Necros. And then we got final attack orders. You know what? Why am I putting them up here? I should be putting them off to the side, down here. And I flipped over in the last video, I flipped over the Kaiba board, just because I wanted something here. Not just a black background. But I flipped over because I think we're all getting tired of seeing Kaiba's mug in every video. Alright. Dome of the Ancient Silence. Ryu Kishin, uh, Kishin Powered. Crawling Dragon. The Immortal of Thunder. I remember all these cards, man. Fake Trap. I remember this. Oh, man. I remember Fake Trap. Jinzo number 7. Yep. Hyosube. The Sword of Deep Seated. I used to use this card, actually. I can't remember what I used it for, but... Uh... Yeah, I used to use it, and then Baby Dragon, I remember that. I don't remember what I used to use it with, but I, I, I was, it was that time where I would just equip stuff onto monsters just to make them stronger. I remember I used to use Mahavalo, or Velo, as I called her. M. I can't remember the card, if it was male or female, I think it was female. 
but uh i was equipped to spell cards just to make it super big koala everyone <laughs> everybody used this card even though it wasn't particularly anything special it was just it had a lot of attack it was a uh seven star right yeah seven star and everybody just wanted to get the big they all cared about the attack points manju of the ten thousand hands also never got this card you know what yeah, these cards feel so di they feel different. Ojama Black, yep, the Ojama cards. Tower of Babel, you can use that for a little bit. Ooh, Mad Dog of Darkness, everybody liked this card as well because it was a four-star monster, had 1,900 attack. It was just one of those great cards to just throw out and, you know, did damage. Um, Gigantus. Another card that people, I think, used, or... Yeah, I think people used him. Hang on a second. Video froze up for a long time there. That was, uh... Freaking me out a little bit. Um, let's see, what does Gigantus do? Not be normal summoner set. This card can only be special summoned by removing from play one Earth monster from your graveyard. And this card is destroyed by battle and central of the graveyard. Destroy all spell and trap cards in the field. Okay. Dimension Distortion. Sea Serpent Warrior Darkness. Remember this guy too. Man, that, what pack was this? This was Metal... Was this Metal Raiders or was this uh, IOC? Yeah, this is IOC. Duh. Man, there was a lot of uh, 1800, 1900 attack monsters in this set. Pharaoh Servant. Now, this one is a little bit special. It's a little bit special to me because I really wanted Buster Blader for the longest time. Buster Blader was, uh, you know, that was my card. Or at least one of my favorites. I always wanted him. I do have one, but it's not from Feral Servant. <laughs> Steel Ogre Grotto number two. Yep, got him. Minor Goblin Official had that. Oni Tang T34, everybody had that. <laughs> Cold Wave. Prohibition. Rare. That's cool. Reign of Mercy. Doku Ryo, uh, Ryo, Doku Royaba, Royaiba, Doku Royaiba. There we go. Took me a second to say that. Um, Light of Intervention, Major Right. And it's funny because uh, last video I said that I can pronounce the Japanese names easier. But yeah, those are cool. No, no, uh, no hollows so far. But we still got one more box holding out. Hopefully, we get something cool in LOB. Let's go, baby. Oh, man. I can't tell you how many LOB packs I went through just to try and get cards that I liked out of it. King Fog. Electro Whip. Frenzied Panda. Hinotama Soul. Fusionist. Dark World Thorns. Ray and Temperature. Yami. And Witty Phantom. I remember all those cards. Alright. That's cool. Uh, did we get any rares other than those? I don't remember if I put any. Yeah, we got Fake Trap. We got this guy. Not gonna read the name right now. Then we got Horn of the Unicorn. All right, now I'm gonna put these off to the side. Take these rares, just make them nice and neat. But uh, yeah, um, yeah. These uh, these older packs, man. I wish I wish I could get my hands on like an old booster that wasn't so so out of my price range. I would love to open up some older boosters, but man, I just do not have the money for some of them, which is a shame. It it, it really is because I I really love those old packs. Hey, if any one of you has it, donate it. No, don't do that. <laughs> Make your money by selling it. If you have it, don't go sending it to me. Alright, and then we got the same thing. It's going to be the same stuff, so I'm not going to bother opening it that. And it's going to be the same setup. Let's see. Yeah, I can do it like that. Then we already know what comes in that. Move that out of the way. Throw that over there. That was loud. Hope that did not just destroy everybody's eardrums. I'll actually cut that down in the mix. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure that's quieter so it doesn't destroy everybody's ears. I do turn down the volume. I do record this separate. I have a nice audio setup that I do. That I do all this stuff on. That I use on my other channel, Hurtbox TV. If you like fighting games, go check that one out. 
has way more subscribers than this, and it's, uh, if you like fighting game stuff, you know, go ahead, check it out. Mystic Plasma Zone. Hungry Burger. <laughs> this was one of the funniest cards, to be honest. It, just cause it's, a, it's a hamburger with the Japanese little flag, and wants to eat your face off. Labyrinth Wall, yep. Didn't they use this in that one episode where they had to go through, where Joey and you get to go through the labyrinth? And like, they, they, they were just like, oh, you gotta destroy parts of uh, the Gate Guardian, and you know, and they broke all these rules for stupid reasons. Curse of Fiend, yep. Oh, we got a rare Rush Recklessly. I loved using this card. Man, I love that card. Spear Cretan, Chorus of Sanctuary, remember that one too. Eat Gaboon, and Gaia Power. Yeah, wasn't that, didn't they play like Labyrinth Wall and then it opens up a Labyrinth? And then they somehow managed to fuse Black Skull Dragon, but Black Skull Dragon can't go through the maze because it's a flying type monster. And I'm like, what is this Pokemon? That, these rules don't make sense. What are all these stupid rules that you're coming up with for the show? Oh my god. All right, Manju Garzette, Archfiend's Roar, uh, Pandemonium Watchbear. Oh, here we go. We got a super rare Terror King Archfiend. All right. Oh, and then we got, I remember these, Wicked Breaking Flamberg Bow. I remember these cards. Um, I don't remember the other names. I'll remember them as I see them. But yeah, we we, we used to love using those. Uh, we used to love uh, having those to use. Uh, Mustering of the Dark Scorpions, and Ninken Dog, and Zolga. I was hoping I'd get a Zolga. I use Zolga. Um, I don't remember why, but again, this was me as like a youngin. But uh, it was one of the reasons because it had four star and it had 1700 attack. When you tribute summon a monster by tributing this card, increase the life points of the player who controls this card on the field by 2000 points. That was. Yeah. Yeah, that could be the reason why I used it. Because I would always use things that took away my life points just to keep myself alive. Alright, so we're on Metal Raiders. What are we going to get? Oguchi. Uh, Disc Magician. Queen's Double. I had Queen's Double at one point. Bottom Dweller. Yep, I had Bottom Dweller. Terrible card. 16, 1700 defense for 5 stars, man. We got a rare Shadow Ghoul. This was always... None of the designs actually creeped me out. It was just always I found them cool because of uh, the way they looked. Dragon Piper, Soul Release, Castle of Dark Illusions. I had one of these. And Giga Tech Wolf. Never had a Giga Tech Wolf, to be honest. And again, I never bought a lot of Metal Raiders. Packs. Uh, let's see, we're on Invasion of Chaos. See what we're gonna get in this one. Tower Babel again. Chaos End. Terror King Salmon. Uh, Chaos Necromancer. And we got a rare Curse of Darkness. I remember that one. Oh, Ryu Koki. I used to use this card as well. Dimension Distortion. Spirit of the Pot of Greed. And Giga Gagigio. Gaga Gio. Gaga Gagu Gigigo. Let's go, Pharaoh. I know that was terrible. What are you going to do? Sue me? Sue me. Minor Goblin Official. Steel Ogre Grotto number 2. Shadow Eyes. Had that. Oni Tank T34. Light Force Sword. I remember this one. Insect Barrier. Had that too. Gust. Had that. Deep Sea Warrior. Yep. That was, that was, I like this guy. He's dark, Deep Sea Warrior is just, so, I like the artwork. I like the design of the character. And Four Star Ladybug of Doom. I actually used that for a little bit. Back in the day. And we're on to our last one, the last Legend of Blue Eyes pack. Man, the uh, the pull rate on these is pretty bad, but then again, I'm pretty sure that's what it was like back then too, if I remember right. Because I like never got anything. Red Medicine, 13th Grave. Ooh, we got a, we got a super... Oh, I think I know what it is. Misai Ruzume. That was a... Uh, yeah, I remember that. And we got a Super Maneater Bug. Yes. I loved using that card before it was banned, I believe. Yeah, back then. And then we got a Carbonola Warrior. Steel Ogre Grotto number one. Never had number one. Always got number twos. I kept getting too many steel, uh, 
the uh, the grotto number two. Firegrass had a lot of him. Rain temperature and then sandstone. Only ever had one of him. But that is it. That's all the pulls that we got aside from the ultra packs. Let's see. Let me. I'm going over here to the other side. I'm going to get a little bit quieter. Now I'm getting back up in frame or up to the mic. And for the rares, we got Light Force Sword, Curse of Darkness, Shadow Ghoul, Wicked Breaking Flamberg Bow, Rush Recklessly, Horn of the Unicorn, Metalizing Parasite Lunette, Lunatite, Lunatite, Fake Trap, Prohibition, and Mad Dog of Darkness. I might get more of these if I can find them for a good price. But uh, we got Maneater Bug and we got Terror King Archfiend in super rare. Sucks I didn't get anything in uh, Ultra or Ultimate, but what can you do? That was, uh, you know, don't need to really sleeve any of those, I don't think. I'll just put them in, uh, keep them in a safe spot. But yeah, that's cool for a, uh, for opening up these old packs, getting to really, uh, re kind of relive memories of these older cards um i will be getting some older booster boxes when i get the chance and if they're affordable <laughs> and i'll be opening them up and seeing what i can actually pull i know that it's better to have them sealed for resale purposes but this is an opening channel this is a, a box and pack opening channel so i want to do it for the nostalgia purposes and uh yeah you know, you know what to do. That's that's it for this video. You know what to do. Hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more openings. And I'll be having a lot more coming out soon. So take care, everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.